You know what's funny? I always feel this small ounce of embarrassment when I show them my kitchen in its raw state. Then I'm like, oh wait, people actually live here. So, <laughs> so in today's video, we're doing a quick clean before we tackle this 17 hour, yes, one seven, 17 hour drive to Florida. And when I say clean, I'm not talking about like spotless. I just mean clean enough for my husband to sustain and clean enough for Ziggy, her dog, to not find anything to chew up. So that's, that's the goal. I'll be honest, I'm not a road trip type of person. If I'm the one driving, I could drive two hours max. After that, I don't know what it is, but I get extremely sleepy, like in the most dangerous way. <laughs> so I'm, I'm definitely not that friend to bring on a road trip if you're expecting me to drive. Let me know if you guys have ever been on a road trip. What's the longest road trip you've ever been on? I think that's, yeah, I think that's a more interesting one. The longest, I think this one was my longest. I think after that we did a 14 hour and we also did, I wanna say it was like six or eight hour, but I didn't do any of the driving for any of those. So that's probably why I'm still alive. But yeah, meet me in the comments, let me know. So I had this goal right. I was gonna do another three day juice cleanse. Listen, the way I've been eating lately, it it makes absolutely no sense. It needs a really good cleanse. I've eaten probably a Hershey's cookies and cream bar almost, almost every day. Probably five out of seven days for the last like two weeks. It's been really bad. But a wise friend once said, it's better than drugs, which is true. Yeah, we're gonna leave that right there. <laughs> So in between cleaning, I'll show you guys some of the food that I ate for this cleanse. For breakfast, I'm doing an orange fruit salad. We have blood orange, navel orange, and I can't remember the name of the other one. I got the idea from one of you guys a while back, like a while, while back. So thank you. Um, and then I sprinkled in some pomegranate seed and voila. I did have a few um, pieces left over, so I went ahead and juiced the leftovers, but my boys enjoyed it for me. And um, yeah. I want all of it. And you can't drink all of it. I'm trying to be a little less wasteful, so I'm really trying to like really compost when I can. So. I'm composting the flesh of the orange and the seeds, everything that I didn't eat. I really wanna make sure nothing was going away, so I'm gonna make an orange vinegar by soaking the peel in vinegar for about a month. For those of you who've been with me for a while, you guys know that I clean with vinegar and like rubbing alcohol, and this makes a great natural all-purpose cleaner.
going back to the all-purpose cleaner I also use that as my DIY glass cleaner which I am completely out of so I'm gonna go ahead and use Dawn to show I know you guys see my floor and I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm hoping to get these waxed <laughs> uh, by the end of summer because it, it needs a lot of attention right now. I know it's been a while since I've posted and I miss interacting with you guys so shoot me high in the comments or let me know how you guys are doing how your summer's been going in the comments um, I did record a few videos in the summer I just haven't touched them because I really wanted to soak up being with my family on top of I did not have time to edit anything but I'm gonna try to get those video out to you guys in August All right, so we're going back uh, into the kitchen for the next portion of this fruit cleanse. Um, for my morning snack, I had a bowl of cherries. These were so good. I think this is the best batch I've had in a while. Okay, so the final space I'm gonna clean up. I guess it's not really cleaning up if you think about it, but just some like plant chores. I've been propagating some plants in water and I need to take care of this now because I know if I don't, they won't stand a chance surviving with my husband when we're on our road trip. Um, these cuttings are from a plant I trimmed a while ago. I'll try to link that video down below. Um, I am also planning to maybe do a fall house plant tour. I know it's been a while since I showed you guys how my plants are doing and what they currently look like. So that's on my list.
This took me a while to learn um, as a plant parent, but I started watering my succulents from the roots up um, and they've been thriving. I usually give them like a good, like maybe three hours of soaking time, a little longer if I feel lazy. I did have to move my monsteras around the house for summer because the living room light was just not, it wasn't um, bright enough in there. So I moved them into the dining room for this season, but it's usually brighter in the living room during fall and winter and spring. And now it is lunchtime. I, I bought some local strawberries for my fruit cleanse. These were, this was a very ugly batch. Like I, I yeah, I don't know how else to describe it. <laughs> it was just all mushy, but I didn't want to waste any of it. So I took out what I wanted for my smoothie and I went ahead and froze the rest so that they wouldn't waste because I know they wouldn't last another day in the fridge. But sadly, I had a bowl of ice cream before the day ended, and I had cooked food for dinner, so the whole fruit cleanse was just a fail. I didn't even attempt the next day or the day after that. But yeah, this is Kim signing out.